If you watch part 2 of Rags to Riches, at this point you should probably have about 2.5 to 3.5 million dollars. And we're gonna be earning somewhere around that mark again today, maybe even a little bit more. If you execute everything we're gonna go over today pretty much perfectly, you could end up with around 3.5 million dollars by the end of this episode. Maybe even a little bit more, and that's all coming up after the drop. A couple of things I just want to quickly mention before we get into the video. You might hear it in my voice, I am a little bit sick. So I apologize if my energy is low throughout the video or in any of the clips. Uh, hopefully, I'll be all good by next episode. Secondly, we are going to be doing more heists today. A different type of heist, but still, we're going to be doing heists. So if you missed out on episode 2 and the thought of heists sort of scare you because you mainly play solo, don't worry about it, man. Join my Discord server. We've got, I think it's over 10,000 members in there now. That blows my mind. And the whole point of that Discord server is to help you guys find friends to play with. Every single one of you guys I've spoken to in there have said that you love the server. It's helped you make a lot of new friends. So thank you for that. I'm glad it's helping out. So if you haven't joined that one and you need friends to play these heists with, dude, go in there. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment below. So definitely jump in. So today we're going to be doing the Diamond Casino heist and we're going to be doing it three times. We're going to complete all of the approaches because if you complete all of the approaches, you're going to get a $300,000 bonus. So in order to buy an arcade, first you're going to have to go watch a cutscene with Lester and that's going to be with this big letter L here. So go watch that cutscene and then Lester will send you a text letting you know that you can now buy an arcade. After that, you can just go to Maid's Bank foreclosures and you can pick one up. Now, I definitely would not recommend getting an arcade near the top of the map. You're definitely going to want one that's in Los Santos because obviously the casino is in Los Santos and so are a lot of the setups for this heist. Now, out of all of the arcades in Los Santos, I would either recommend getting the 8-bit arcade or the one that's right next to the casino. As you can see, personally, I bought the 8-bit arcade and it is the most expensive arcade, so you could definitely argue that this is a bad choice. I'm not going to deny that. This probably isn't the best arcade to buy. But personally, because of where I'm going to buy my apartments and things like that, this just works best for me. And that's the one that I like. Make sure you don't buy any of the optional cosmetic upgrades for this arcade. They're really not necessary. And especially if you're a beginner, which you probably are if you're watching this video, you don't want to waste your money on that type of stuff. So just save that because... Uh, you're gonna need it in the future. Once you've bought your arcade, go in there, you'll have to do a quick setup mission, and then you'll be able to start up a heist. Fuck. Yeah, right. Welcome to my Let's collect the equipment. What the fudge? That looks <laughs> a bit out of place. <laughs> Is that like in that plane? Can we get in this plane and fly that? Hell, hold up. Hold up. It's a blimp. Oh my god, I'm flying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go see on, ya. son. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Can you still see it? <laughs> yes. It doesn't really go forward, eh? Here it comes. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, is it just in the water? It's floating! Is it? How do I get over there? Shit. I'm gonna stole this dude's car. Fuck. Alright, here we go. Pull it up just like this. Good brakes. Back it up. Wow, oh, sweet. Good job. Can you mark me back to your thing now? <laughs> Once you set up your arcade, before you jump into a heist, you're going to need to scope out the casino. This is pretty simple. It will pretty much tell you what to do. You just go in there, take a photo of a few things, send them to Lester, and then you're done. But there are two secret entrances to the casino that you need to scope out. The first one is a security tunnel that's under the racetrack next to the casino. 
This one's going to allow you to take a different approach into the big con approach if you choose to do that one. The second secret approach is down in the sewer tunnels. Just go there, take a photo of these sort of metal bars, and that's going to let you take a different entrance into the aggressive approach. Once that's done, you'll have to do one more scope out mission where you actually scope out what's inside the vault inside the casino. Again, that is pretty easy. There's four possible contents of what could spawn inside of the vault. The first one is cash. That's going to pay the least, but that is the most common. After that, it's artwork, which is going to pay a little bit more. Then you've got gold, which will pay a bit more than that. And then diamonds, which of course pays the most. Now, all you really need to know is that you should complete all three approaches to this heist because that's going to give you a $300,000 bonus. You'll see in the gameplay, I did aggressive first, then I did silent and sneaky next, and then after that, I did the big con. If you're looking to make the most money and you've already done all three approaches, for example, I would definitely recommend the big con. That's probably the easiest approach. After that, I would recommend silent and sneaky, and then personally, I'm not a big fan of aggressive. And the main reason for that is because if you can do the heist in complete stealth, you're going to get more time in the vault to actually loot stuff because you get a bonus for being undetected. And the fact that if you get shot, you're going to lose some money every time you get shot. And obviously, if you do it undetected, you're not going to get shot. So that's why I'm not really a fan of the aggressive approach. But still, it is worth doing to get that $300,000 bonus. But anyway, we've got some gameplay to get into. If you want some more tips on how to make the most money from these heists, I made a standalone video where I actually went through all of that. So any questions you could have would probably be answered in that video. So definitely check that out. Alright, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to kill these dudes. Yeah, yeah, they're good, they're good. I can watch them from here as well. Alright, we good? Wait, who the fuck? My god. Alright, we're good. Ready? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, dude. Alright, three, two, one, go. Perfect. Alright, more spawn, that's fine. We're just getting in. To blow a high, like an entire block. Not gonna lie. Let's do it. I'll get left side. Yeah, cash collecting fingers. I'll get left side. Yeah, okay. Well, they put the explosives on the door and then. It takes two seconds. Oh, bruh. Grab the cash, man. Come on. What the fuck is this? I can't... Well, this is going off, I think. What the hell? How long before the gas kills us? 20 seconds, isn't it? We can go into that time. The real question is, why can't I loot this? It literally wouldn't let me loot while I had a charge active. Sick. We got out the elevator. Yeah, Sick. yeah. Stable. You got it? Yeah, once this animation's done. I'm locked in the same animation. Really? Okay. Get him. I'm gonna re body armor up again. Oh no. You know what they say? In the event of emergency, there you go, I'll be too safe. Let's go, let's go. I'm trying. <laughs> ah! Hell of people through here. Yep. Come on down, boy. Oh 
shit. Come on, kick him on three, don't worry. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm, I'm dead, 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 I'm dead. Holy just shit, eat okay, up, just eat up, eat up, eat up. This will be what close. This will be close. Yeah, it'll be tight. I reckon like 14, like 20 or 30. I reckon we did it in like 17. Do you reckon? Yeah. So as you can see there, our take wasn't fantastic for our aggressive approach. We only did it with two people and we got cash in the vault. So a lot of things were working against us there. For the next two heists, I actually did it with four people for one of them and three people for the other. The upside to that is that we have more people to grab more stuff from the vault, but the downside to that is I get a smaller cut. In the end, it worked out in our favor. I got 800,000 from the next heist and a million for the last one. Now, I do have to apologize. The next few clips, the audio sort of bugged out a bit and I didn't realize until after the fact. So the game audio is very, very low. But if you wanted to see perfect walkthroughs of the silent and sneaky and big con approach, I've actually already uploaded them on this channel. So you may be better off checking those out if the audio might annoy you or the lack thereof. So again, I'll link them below and I'll let you watch the rest of the video. Don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. We're gonna wait for this dude. Okay, come through, come through. Yeah, yeah, I had stunned it. Run through, run through to me, run through to me. Okay, come through. Okay, now we got two dudes. I'm gonna take out the one on the left. Ready, three, two, one. Clean. All right, now there's a camera here. But what I'm gonna do is really quickly, we're gonna go in and wipe out all the people, okay? Ready? Let's do it. Go. Wait for this dude. Wait for this dude. Fuck, the cameras might see this dude. Wait, wait. Yeah, okay. Don't kill this dude coming through, but kill the other ones. I'll go right side. Not even two people. Is that a better park, boys? Yeah, maybe that was the reason my parking was shit. When you guys get G.
three, two, one, go. Right, I'm not actually going to kill this dude, so once he turns around... Okay, come now, come now. Get in here, get in here. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, do it. Alright, so once we get out here, we're gonna have to sprint, okay? So follow me. <coughs> Run straight through here. And go. Huh? Not much. What the hell? So all three approaches are completed. I got my $300,000 bonus. And even though I didn't really complete any of the heists perfectly, I still ended up with around $2.5 million. Like I said at the start, you can definitely do this better than I could, or at least better than I did. And you can earn yourself a bit more money. Man, you could easily, easily smash out one of these heists within two hours, including all of the setups if you had the right team around you. And if you're the host of that heist and you're taking somewhere between a 50 to 60% cut, you could be getting around a million dollars per heist, which is around or maybe even over $500,000 an hour. Nonetheless, with that amount of money, that's going to set us up perfectly for episode 4. And in episode 4, we're going to be buying our first business. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to see the rest of this series. Also, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated because that's going to help this video reach more people like you. So again, thanks for watching. Make sure you stay safe, stay at home with what's going on right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Poise.